Hey guys, welcome to another unboxing. As you can see, I'm not on my own today. I have Rafe Paul with me. You've all seen him on my Instagram and I've talked about him loads of my depression diaries and now you get to see his glorious face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he thinks of me. Um, so today we're doing um, a joint unboxing and will be for the foreseeable future where we get this box because I'm not allowed to eat all of it on my own. Nope. Uh, we're getting, nope, <laughs> um, we've signed up for a monthly subscription box called Tokyo Treat where we get a plethora of goodies shipped from Japan straight to our door and then we get to eat them. I honestly can't think of anything better uh, apart from maybe, maybe fresh takoyaki? Hint, hint, no, no, okay, okay. Um, so this subscription service runs on three tiers, so you've got the small box, the regular box and the premium box. So we went for the premium box because we know it includes a drink. The box we went for is a little bit different from what's continuing forward because they've just hit their two year anniversary, congratulations. And um, they've changed the format slightly. I have included a discount code below if you fancy this box and I've also included like the website and a bit more information about all the different tiers. They start from $15 a month and go all the way up to $35 a month, which sounds a lot, but we really like Japanese candy. So yeah, um, yeah. So this is the like March box. It arrived in about 10 days. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the Marks box and it um, took about 10 days to get here. It wasn't meant to get here until like the 20th and today's the 9th so it actually arrived on my birthday. Yay! So we figured we'd, after we finished doing all the, the celebrating and stuff, we would record this. So it's about 11 o'clock at night which is why we both look butt shit tired. Because <laughs> it's been a long day of D&D &D and... Um, eating Indian food which doesn't sound very taxing but it really is <laughs> um, so yeah shall we get on with it shall we see what's in the box what's in the box oh god are you, oh no are you gonna make me guess things shall we play what flavor is that <laughs> well, are you gonna taste it all I don't know I don't know how much room stuff I've got left in my stomach well first up before we show you anything Oh, I don't want to look in that because that's got, got a the booklet, book. which I'm not going to let you see. The booklet tells you like everything that's in there, little okay. factoids and things. And I think if you have a DIY kit, because some of them do come with the DIY kits like this one, that um, it also kind of tells you about. Oh, oh, it tells you. Oh, mm, can't can't read that bit. It tells you all about kind of the cherry blossom season and everything in Japan and it's so pretty. So pretty. So wait, wait. Well, it's just It's so pretty. Um but yeah, if there's a DIY in the box then you get told how to do them, which is great because we've got someone we haven't figured out how to do them because everything's in Japanese and we don't speak Japanese. <laughs> but put the put the brochure down. Oh, Do you want your first item to guess? No, fine, okay. So, what have we got? <gasps> oh, they're rice crackers. Oh, they're like, oh, they're like hula hoops. Okay. These look exactly like hula hoops. They look like really funky hula hoops, because, you know, hula hoops don't have this thing. These are Tohato. Going on, Tohato. Tohato. They've got to be like, like I crispy snack things. Mm -hmm. They're crispy snack things. We're going with sakura because there's flowers. Oh, there are. There are flowers all over it. So it's probably sakura flavoured. Sakura flavoured snack things. Possibly. We'll find out. Well, we're looking at that. They look cool. They rattle. Well, they rustle. It's a good size. It is a good size bag. I kind of. Like, I want to try them, but I don't want to open it because. Because I want to eat the bag. We do this all the time. Honestly, I had, like, green tea Kit Kats hidden in the cupboard for about four months because I didn't want to eat them all. Have you actually finished those? Yeah, I finished them now. I need more. You're doing better than I am with my uh, remedy. Right. <laughs> yeah, your, your remedy you've had for you. You might know what these are. Yay! Matcha! 
So these are like matcha filled kind of chocolates. Um, and they're super tasty. And I'm gonna have to pause for a second. There we go. Sorry. My phone is like rest on my legs and it keeps buzzing like crazy and it's a weird feeling. So Are you dumb? They're mine. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I get all the matcha. That's why I get the sakura. No, you don't get all the sakura. What are they? We have. We have more crispy things. Upside down stuff. <laughs> Again, looks like so more sakura. Kind of like, yeah. I don't know. They're another type of crisp. Okay. That's cool. They look weird. I don't know which one I have. Yeah. They look They're caramel really corns. Caramel corns. Again, it's the same company. Mm. So. Again, flowers over them, so... Yeah, so I'm guessing that's more Sakura-based corn set things. Well, we don't get caramel corns over here. We don't. I actually don't know what they taste guessing like. it's kind of an I American thing. I don't know thing. what they taste like. Um, sounds like something that you'd have in the States. Yeah, it sounds like a Halloween kind of candy thing. Yeah. In the States, doesn't it? Alright. <gasps> oh, cool! Ooh. Oh, look! We've got, like, his and hers chopstick sets. Thanks, Tokyo Treat. That's yeah. so cute. They're like super adorable. I don't know if you can see the print room. All you can see is my face. No one wants to see that. Go away, camera. Nope. Oh, there we go. So they've got like little Sakura blossoms and some are pink for Sakura and some the other ones are green for matcha. Yay! And they've got the grooves in. Oh my god. First set of these I got with the grooves in just revolutionised my life with eating like rice. The, the, the Hello Kitty ones you got one, me for yeah. my for was it my birthday? Was it yes. level up day? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was bought me some Hello Kitty ones. And before I'd always just tried like the plastic or the wooden smooth ones. Then I got ones with the grooves in, and oh my god, everything's so much easier to eat. So, yay! Thank you. What's next? What's in the box? We have. Oh, these are like our um. They're like thingies. the They're waffle things. Yeah. Strut waffles, which aren't British at all. We yeah, but we get these things in the UK. They're they a biscuit. They are. But we don't. Sand. We do. <laughs> Obviously, chocolate sand again. Tohasho. So I'm guessing that's a big. Let it focus. There we go. I'm guessing that's quite a big like. Food brand in Japan. Don't know. It's three things, by them, isn't it? Yeah. But more green tea. Like I said, this, this box is predominantly like green tea based. Uh, green tea and sakura. So I imagine everything's based around that. Was this. Cotton candy. Cotton candy in. We actually have packaged cotton candy. Okay. Cotton candy in. I don't know if you can see. In like. It just wants my face again. Put it in front of my face and it will work. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's. No, yeah, it just no. doesn't want to focus. We need a new camera. Um, so, oh, there we go. It likes that. It likes all the bright colours. It's just like, yay, kawaii. Um, yeah, cotton candy and like a jelly cup thing. I'm well up for that. We know we know what cotton candy tastes like, though. Mm. It tastes like sugar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just tastes like death. <laughs> like pure sugary death. Well, we love that, so. Yay. Yay. <laughs> it's a good box. I'm, I'm well up for trying all of this. How much, we, how much we pay for? Uh, this one was we had a discount code. Like I said, I'll include it below. So it was thirty dollars, and that's including the shipping. Um, I did. I recommend using PayPal because I use my bank account, and my bank charged me like two quid for like, oh, you're sending payments to Japan. Here, I'll just bung some extra charges on. So for me, it ended up being like twenty-seven pound, but it should have been about twenty-four. My bag sucks. Big time. What's this? this oh, it's tiny. Ring candy. Hey. I haven't seen this since oh the 90s. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god, is that cola flavoured? I think it's the old cola pop rings. It's the little candy rings that you just... Did I tell you that someone once proposed to me with one of these? <laughs> Have you seen the Deadpool movie? <laughs> this is what is Ryan this? Reynolds pulls out his ass. That's true. That is true. Yes. Which made it cool. When it happened to me, it wasn't. That's like it, it wasn't. Because cool. it wasn't Ryan Reynolds. That's true. I mean, if Ryan Reynolds pulls anything out of his ass, it's cool. Exactly. Who could say no to Ryan with 
anything. <laughs> Especially with, with <laughs> cola flavoured ring pops. <laughs> yes. Might have to edit that bit out. Let's just move on. Yeah. What yeah. we got next? We have... Gum. What the fuck? Oh, it's Sakura Mochi. Like, mm. that's Sakura Mochi on the front. Mm. Do you reckon that's Mochi or do you reckon it's like our... um? Things. Oh, they look like they should. I don't know what they are. It's cool though. They're pretty. Like on the front, you've got the Sakura like mochi that you see in like all the the videos and stuff. But they look like Starbursts <laughs> or Opal fruits or whatever the fuck they're called. I didn't. I don't. I honestly don't remember if they're called Starbursts oh, yeah. or Opal fruits now. Nope. One of them's yeah. the old. But they look like gum. That's what they look. Like. Do you reckon it's gum? I don't know. I don't read Japanese! God damn it. It looks like gum, so. It's not squidgy though. They're quite hard. It feels like Starburst. It, yeah, I think they're like Starburst type things where it's like chewy gum. Maybe the. But then Mochi's quite chewy. Yeah. It's kind of its ca we, distinctive we, characteristic we don't, we don't there. We don't anything like Mochi over here. We so. don't. And if you are watching this in any country that isn't England, getting hold of mochi over here is a freaking nightmare. Mm, um, so and lucky we're, we have someone down the road who makes who it. Who makes it? But um, even so, it's like not cheap. Mm. Um, and yeah, we spend a lot of money on it, so more than we should. So yeah, I've got some wayward hair thing going on up here. Look at this. Aww. What's in the box? What's next? So it, that feels like oh, face. He's pulling a face. What's that? Oh! Oh my God! Look, it's got liquid in. What the fuck? What the? Paddy, paddy. Paddy, paddy. It, it looks like he's eating a log. Look, this has got liquid in. I don't know if you can, like, at the bottom. It's a slice of something. What's this slice of? There's it, two bits. It looks like tongue. <laughs> <laughs> or tough. radish, huge bits of radish. It's really front, squidgy. Yeah, it's super squidgy, and it's got someone who looks like he's eating a log on it. I'm scared. I don't know what that's gonna be. It, could it be like? It's got that similar kind Ooh. of look to daikon. Is that? <laughs> it's not gonna be daikon, so. Is, is it meant to be? I think it's a type of fruit. What, like real fruit? Yeah. It's not saying, artificial. Artificial fruit. Uh, as opposed to artificial stuff. All that fake fruit that's going around. It's made of wax. I don't know. Could I could be, be completely wrong. I've got a book there. I could look at it up. I don't know. Over in the sun. I have no idea. We'll leave yeah, that. We'll leave that. That'll be our mystery one. I imagine it's probably a Sakura flavoured. It could be grape. This, completely this is when it just tastes of mustard. That's <laughs> something equally weird. This is not quite right. Oh, come on. <laughs> right. I don't know, it's got cute, adorable animals on it, though. The equivalent to Haribo? I don't know, there's like a mystery thing. It's. Oh, my face is in it again. <laughs> Does that help? There yep, we go. Yep, we got it. If I just go off camera, it likes it. They're squidgy. They like if, if you've ever had like Haribo sweets, that's what it feels oh, like in there. What's the mystery? They've got this kind of mystery, like hippo, hippo or thing on the back going on, which I'm just like, I don't have to eat baby hippos, do I? What are baby hippos called? Hippos. Are they still hippos? They're not like puppies, like. Is it like it sheep? Up. No, because sheep are lambs. So what are baby hippos called? That's so gonna bug me. To yes, I want you to look it up. I want you to look up right now what baby hippos are called because it's gonna bug me. <laughs> right. So so far that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine snacks and two sets of chopsticks, which is just amazing. Um, this, if we bought it over here, to be honest, probably would have already cost us our twenty quid. <laughs> Because I know... It's just called a calf. Oh, they're just called calves, people. There you go. We have informed you of the with the dire information that you Does needed. Does that just make them water cows? They would be water... I think they are water cows. 
We can't even look that up as well. Yeah, female hippopotamus is a cow. The male is a bull. Yeah, and the baby is a calf. They were just water cows. Yay! I like cows. I like cows or I like hippos. Not, I'm not cow. actually so keen on manatees. <laughs> nope, not a manatee person. But yeah, I was just saying that like this so far would have cost us well over what we paid. Christ, we'll try and price it in a minute. <laughs> what, with UK figures? Yeah. Oh my god, right, like £100 later. What's that? Some sort of wafer, I think. <laughs> wafer. It's premium, apparently. Premium wafers. If you can see, Oops. yeah, I do that all the time. Not to make yeah. it look gross, it kind of looks like those diagrams in science books. <laughs> We're not in focus again. There we go. Um, yeah, it kind of looks like those diagrams that you see in science books. Where it kind of shows you the the, lay, the skin and all the bits underneath it. It's got that kind of texture to it. <laughs> it does, honestly. Look at it. It looks like all you need is a few hairs going out the top. And that could easily be a diagram in a GCSE science book. Either way, it looks tasty. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Oh, what's just, this? Just check that one out. Oh, it's the right. So we found what is it? Is that the DIY thing? This is the DIY thing, I guess. So um, with the regular and the premium boxes, you get DIY kits. I think that might have changed now. I know you definitely get a DIY kit in the premium, um, mm. and DIY kits are quite popular in Japan. We've got a couple of others um, which we haven't made yet. Like I said, instructions are in Japanese, so like we've got a little fake sweet takoyaki one and a little like popping cooking sushi thing um but making your own sweet seems to be like a really big thing in japan that it's not in the uk and i don't think it ever really was in the uk like we when we were no. growing up it wasn't a big thing and the closest we had was like kind of the salt and shake yeah <laughs> where you salt Chris. your own crisps because they're too fucking lazy to or the lolly dipping Oh, like the sherbet, yeah, the sherbet lemon things. things. Yeah, yeah. That, that was it. Dib dabs. Dib dabs. Dib dabs. That's what they were called. That's or, a branded version, I think. Or the licorice stick thing. Licorice. Oh, God, no. I used to throw the licorice away and just like down the, the sherbet and be on sugar high for hours. Um, but yeah, so this looks like you're making a little lion or, or polar bear lollipop thing, which looks adorable. It's like a panda or a lion. Yeah. Again, looks super cute. There's rainbows everywhere. This is also brightly packaged. It's great. So Would we'll you have to. It's pink. It's pink. It's probably going to be mochi, just coloured. <laughs> uh, not mochi, matcha. Matcha, matcha coloured pink. Yeah, yeah, just to fuck with us. Um, <laughs> no, I like that. Animal I think chewing cute. candy. DIY animal chewing candy, there we oh, go, that's sense. what it is. Yeah. Makes use. So, so far, there's quite a bit to share, so if yeah, I probably this, wouldn't this have managed right. this on my own. I don't want the drink yet. I don't want that box. No, not the drink. What have we, got? we have <gasps> full flavour candy. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ooh! <laughs> Sakura Saku Latte. I'm so happy! Green tea latte, banana latte, strawberry latte, and cafe latte. So oh, you can have coffee the, latte. You can have the coffee latte. I am not <laughs> which, a coffee which, drinker. Which just seems really yeah. kind of... Um, I am not a coffee drinker, but I love green tea lattes, and you cannot buy them in this country. Um, like, where in the States and in Japan, you can buy um, green tea latte from places like Starbucks. You just can't do it in this country. I'm lucky if I can get green tea in this country. These, these are candies. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> you can't drink it. <laughs> um, so, like, you just can't get that flavour. I've tried recreating it at home, and it's really difficult to get a really lovely kind of milky matcha. Uh, that and the matcha. We and the matcha we got was out of date for some reason. And then replaced by more out of date. And then replaced by more out of date. So yeah, these are cute little, they're cute little Sakura shaped candies as well, which is adorable. 
and I'm going to eat them all apart from the coffee ones because I hate coffee I'm a heathen. I like tea. I'm British. I'm running out of stuff in here. Oh no! I want more stuff. I want this to last forever. Okay, we. I have no idea what these are. Lottie they look like chocolate pie. It says it on the side. What? <laughs> it looks like pastry. Literally says it on the side. That looks like pastry. That's. It's matcha filled green tea. Yeah. They look like sausage puffs, but with matcha in. They do look like miniature sausage rolls filled with matcha. We will give that. But yeah, on the side it does say Lottie so chocolate. we have to do anything with them or are they ready to eat? Ooh, wrong way. Uh, Lottie chocolate pie. There you what are. the light stupid? <laughs> I don't know, but it sounds like we're damaging them. These may just be in flakes. Because there was a, a little dent in the top of our box, courtesy of our mail system. What's next? What's in the box? <gasps> oh, what's this? Oh, fuck off. We've You're got summit lean. Hang on, we've got too much crap on the keyboard. There we go. We'll edit that bit out. <laughs> this, this is. And it's tiny and adorable. I have no idea what this is. Oh no. This is a mystery. We can actually open this. It's a mystery yeah. thing. But let's open. have a look at the box first. Okay, show off the box. Because it is a super cute little... It's obviously spring Sakura cherry blossom themed. And there's little little holes in the top of the box. Breathing holes maybe? <laughs> <laughs> there is actually a tiny Sakura lizard in there. Maybe we should Sakura lizards are not a real thing. I made them up, but I really want one. <laughs> oh no, it's... Oh, it's those! Oh, yeah. These are basically another thing that is like pure sugar. I can't remember the name of them. We used to have these when we were a kid. Yeah. Um, but they got a different name <coughs> in Japan. Yeah. I can't remember what it is in I Japan. I don't know what the name is. But we grew up on these as well. Yeah. Just pure sugar. They rot your teeth and your mind, but they taste really nice doing it, so it's all good. They're all cute and stuff. That wasn't what I was expecting to be in that box. No. I don't know what I was expecting. Obviously, I was expecting tiny pink lizards, but... And... The last the thing, the drink. And the drink! Not Royal milk tea. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Never tried royal milk tea. Apparently, it's pretty much British tea. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm expecting cold tea that tastes like a tea I drink. But, it won't taste like a tea you drink, because ah, it's, it's cherry, cherry. It's cherry blossom flavour. Um, it doesn't... I will say this, um... Cold tea in a bottle doesn't look that appetising. <laughs> like, at, at all. Um, Cold tea isn't appetising. So this will be a, a test to our British palate. Um, yes, scared. Do you want to try it? Yes. Yes, I do. But I want to try everything, that's the problem. I'm a bit worried, though, because um, that's who makes it. I know it's blurry, you can probably tell who that is though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not a tried and test method. And that's that's who makes this. It's like, a Coca Cola. What? Coca Cola makes milk tea in Japan. I did not know that one. Are you ready? Oh, it's, 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 it's happening, people. We are gonna. Should we try the tea? We're gonna try some tea. Okay. No. <laughs> not on the slide. I expect it to fizz now that I know it's by Coke. <laughs> Actually, guys, we're going to hold it here because we've just ended up recording an hour's worth of footage. So we're going to split it into two videos for you. If you want to see what we thought of the treats and us with some pretty odd reactions, then head over to the next video. We've got all sorts of interesting things to watch and you will get a code at the end of it as well. So, yeah. What are you waiting for? Go watch.